Bullying is a troublesome phenomenon because it leads to hurtful feelings and distorted relationships. Sadly, it's a recurring social process that energizes human relationships, albeit in a negative way. An environment specifically designed to address school bullying, Ex Delphi, has been developed, enabling the phenomenon to be studied and influenced through pedagogical Delphi processes. In the School Bullying Project, in Delphi language, the panel, there are five interactive parts, one of which includes surveys targeted at staff and parents, and two surveys for elementary school students in grades 2-6. The fourth part is informative, presenting different aspects of the phenomenon. The fifth part consists of a live role-playing game in which everyone can participate. The recurrent nature of bullying means that the phenomenon can never be completely tackled through disciplinary or other external measures alone. Strict discipline only leads to the phenomenon becoming harder to recognize, but the negative effects do not diminish. On the contrary, a sustainable solution lies in learning together and mitigating its unpleasant effects through discussions and collective decisions. The school is an especially suitable place for studying the bullying phenomenon. Bullying is not limited to schools, but influencing it starts there. The phenomenon of bullying, more precisely school bullying, is studied with the help of two ChatGPT bots. One is the Ezit Tezit bot developed by Kari Hintika, and the other is the Ex Delphi bot by Hanu Linturi. Both assistants are designed to aid in the planning, execution, facilitation, analysis, and reporting of the Delphi process. Both bots are openly accessible and available for use. In using the bots, we emphasize the facilitator's active and independent approach. The bot is valued as an important and knowledgeable assistant expert, but it is crucial to engage it in conversation and test it to form a rich and balanced picture of the phenomenon. In this exercise, no bot modeling has been accepted as is, but it has been supplemented with questions and the inquirer's views. According to the ex Delphi bot, School bullying is a repetitive, intentional, and unjust action aimed at harming or offending another person. It can manifest in various forms such as physical, mental, social, or sexual bullying. Physical bullying is tangible violence such as hitting, kicking, shoving, or throwing objects. Mental bullying is violence that targets the victim's emotions or self-esteem, manifesting as name-calling, mocking, threatening, isolating, or stigmatizing. Social bullying is violence that affects the victim's social relationships, manifesting as slandering the victim, avoiding social situations, or isolating the victim from peer groups. Sexual bullying involves violence related to sexual behavior, such as sexual insinuations, harassment, or abuse. Bullying can occur face-to-face -face or online. Online bullying, known as cyberbullying or cybercrime, manifests through emails, text messages, social media posts, or communication during online gaming. School bullying is a serious problem that can cause significant harm to the victim. It can lead to depression, anxiety, self-esteem issues, difficulties in schooling, and even an increased risk of suicide. In this Ex Delphi project, a model for addressing bullying in schools and classrooms is offered. The first phase involves identifying the phenomenon and its complexity through an anonymous first-round Delphi survey and discussion involving at least students and, where appropriate, representatives of school staff and parents. The second Delphi round delves deeper into the phenomenon, addressing causes, consequences, and solutions. Based on the second round, live discussions are continued, aiming for joint decisions and ongoing monitoring of the phenomenon similar to a barometer. Before or between the Delphi rounds, a live bullying role-playing game can be conducted, for which an online role-playing version of X Delphi is also being developed.